give me 15 minutes of your time. First thing in the morning, drop all the thoughts, feelings, past, memories, identities. That's your power. Let go of everything. Your natural state of presence is felt. You're simply here. This morning, on waking up, I found a strong um, uh, urge to just to um, share contemplation with the Sangha field when I feel it is quite appropriate and um, and quite uh, a ripe time to share something. It will not be different from much of what you have heard. But the guidance that was offered this morning was that um, that uh, let's say if you began uh, your day, and I ask you, I was there, ask you, give me fifteen minutes of your time, first thing in the morning, and um, what I would ask you to do. So I'm telling you, but we are. When I speak now, everything is now for me. I'm not reporting about early and some other later. Even as I speak about what happened this morning, it's alive now. I'm speaking now. It's about now. <clears throat> and uh, I shared that uh, as you wake up, take a little time. It can happen very, very quickly to um, release yourself from all attachments that may come in the form of thoughts or memory or habits or so. And you must be very conscious about it. You make a choice, I let go of everything. You're not saying that, you do it. Drop all the thoughts, feelings, past, memories, identities. You know, you don't have to itemize them actually. The most powerful thing about this is that you don't have to do a list of things. If I say just drop everything to do with the mind and identity, have this feeling just, and it is easier like that <clears throat> because if I begin to itemize, I might leave some things out. But if I say whatever it is that uh, usually mm, comes up in your mind and day consciously, let go of them now. So no items, just say, I have to be empty, 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 empty. And we are, don't have any mm, instruments to measure scientifically or in any kind of practical way what that feels like. Just your intention to let go. Trust this. That's your power. Let go of everything. The more you do this, the more quick it is. Just let go. Be totally empty. Empty of identity, <coughs> empty of story, empty of past, empty of intention, empty of judgments. Like this, when you are as empty, empty like this, and you don't pick up anything, don't touch anything at all, and then your natural state of presence is felt. You're simply here, and you will feel very empty, silent. present, not carrying out any intention, no time, beautiful like this. And this can happen very quickly. As soon as you do not engage with the mind and your intention is to 
be in the heart awareness, you see how quickly your intention uh, is fulfilled. And what remains here is not anything personal, just a sense of being. Confirm this. You will know the difference now between mind activity and being. Being is not an action. Now the mind will come. When the minds come, it will come in the form like a suggestion or a simple habit. It could be just suggesting, you know, okay, it's time to have a cup of tea and to do this and that. You'll watch it rather than just being swept along with its suggestion. <coughs> be aware of that. And in this 15 minutes or so, within this, you rejected that. No, not now. You exercise the choice to not follow the suggestion of the mind. You are acutely aware of mind. It comes in the form of this, or a, some habit, or a memory, or some kind of judgment, or something comes. And you are watching now, but there is a distance now. And don't log in. Don't be carried off into the mind stream. If you do this like that, and you find that any suggestions, you are very clear what is mind and what is the space you are in, then it will feel very peaceful for you. You feel very present in a really good way. And you stay like this, consciously, just aware, first of all, you are. There is no description, there is no date, there is no time, there is no association, just the natural presence of existence. I am. No story. So when the mind energy wakes up and comes, normally it comes and you log in with personal identification. You just cooperate with the mind suggestion, and you are again in the state of personhood. Then you are in time and intention, and doing and undoing, and all of this comes alive. So you are to resist that consciously. Mm -hmm. Stay aware. And you will feel the power of presence. You will be aware that just that you are, untroubled, yet awake, like that. If you notice 15 minutes have passed, and you are feeling so well, fresh, un- unassociated, unmixed presence, and the mind will say, OK, Muji's voice come, OK, that's enough, good, you can go now. And you feel so well, you may continue. And by continue, I don't mean you necessarily have to sit down and be with that. You can, if you have the time and space to do this. But at some point, the natural functioning of life, the call of life, hmm? action, reaction, interaction, the flow of existence, your natural calling for the day happen. This is different. This is not just the mind. It's not personal. You see? Then you will notice that this activity now that needs to happen happens in the stillness of presence. This will be a very beautiful noticing. Somehow, okay, it's time to do this and to get ready for work or whatever, but it's all this activity, all this action is taking place in this grounding, grounded sense of presence and being, not personal, how well you will feel, you see. And you may, if you decide to or intend to remain conscious at the same time, it's no effort. You don't have to go and sit under a tree. You can simply just have this intention, and still your your limbs, your body, life is moving, and, and that flow can happen, but it is happening within the space of being, 
This is very important. This is how life can be experienced. That you do not step into personhood. You are here, fully. Nothing is missing. Or if the activity of ego is missing, it's a beautiful space. Like this you do. So I ask to 15 minutes minimum in the morning, and in the night before going to bed. Try it, you see. Hmm? As you go on and you consciously uh, reject the mind suggestion or the habit, the habitual movements, you're conscious of them, and you say, no, not in this 15 minutes, no, I don't touch. You're not waiting, because beingness is not a state of waiting. The sense of next is not relevant. Next may happen, but it's not. Everything is arising and playing out in the space of presence or being. For everyone, there's no one who can fail at this, except you, laziness and uh, like that. So this commitment you will make today. Yes. Yeah. So then, there. This is good. <laughs>